I was wondering, <coughs> is there a way uh, to sustain a long-lasting partnership and still have a juicy sex life? <laughs> Well, that's basically the holy grail of uh, couple therapy. And uh, if I had the answer, I probably would be a rich and wealthy man. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but it's probably not the answer you're looking for. Um, no, there's no. I think we live in a society where people like to have quick solutions. And what we offer is not a quick solution. But we can use an uh, intimate relationship to really make growth happen within that relationship and people helping each other, changing their habits, changing sex sexuality. And I think the approach we have with sexology bodywork is so interesting because we don't focus on what is not working, we focus on what's working best. And we have something which is called the core erotic theme. So what is really thriving your arousal and your sex drive and the first answer to that is most of the core erotic themes are not built around long-lasting relationships it is often around excitement and if you know somebody for 30 years it could be that that excitement goes down but there is waiting a lot of stuff to explore and try out which goes beyond that. So you can change that, you can work with that. And if you're aware of it, I think you can have a long lasting relationship with an exciting sex life. I would say not exciting, a relaxing sex life. Mm -hmm. So there is a difference obviously between uh, the excitement in the beginning of a partnership and then it turns into something else, is that right? To something that's more relaxing, maybe. And that's true. But I think what we see in working with couples, and that's known around uh, couple therapy, um, when two people meet and find together, and they bond into, in an intimate relationship, it's not like the idea is we come together and we learn together, and then there is change. But often we come together and we meet at the, a certain place where we feel comfortable with our sex life. But that's not where the excitement is. Where the excitement is, I have to risk something. And so people stay in that spot and there's not really a change. And that, I think, is the core issue, why there's no automatic change within a relationship. What I know from my practice is that um, communication is also a core um, tool. Uh, that we use also in our sessions to um, um, give people or to train people in. Um, so some people are approaching me and saying, um, but with all the communication, isn't that killing the magic of sex? How would you answer that? Well, the way people perceive sex is there are many ways, but uh, I think this idea of sex as something magic, yes, sex is magic. Sex is magic when people truly encounter each other, first myself, but also each other. Then for me, it's magic. But often when we have this, I mean, the idea of magic sex often comes from the head and it's not what's really happening between two people. And then it becomes something which I can't reach. You know, this idea, we come together and then it's just bliss and it's not how sex works. And we know that reality is different, but often we hold on to that idea of the magic sex. And if we take that magic sex down from up there to reality, it might turn into something magic. So the common idea of um, <coughs> magical sex as being something natural or something that happens naturally um, <coughs> is something that one could question. So that leads me actually again to another question well, that I'd I have like for to you. Comment on this. Yeah, yeah, please comment. So I think our our first coming together with people, there's sparks, and we're, there's interest and there's excitement. We call it hot sex, oh, she's hot, he's hot, they're hot. 
but to go on and on for years and years, I think we should seek warm sex, not expect hot sex. And it has to do with sensuality. If we're relating to our partners, if we're talking about a partner, a long-term partner, if we're relating to our partner's physical self that involves a lot of, like, touch. So sometimes when the sex stops, touch stops and you're not relating to your partner's being. You, oh, I love this person. We've been together 10 years, but I haven't touched them in five years. So I think warm sex is staying connected and growing old together. And, it's, and not expecting hot sex, but really expecting wa warm sex and a wonderful, and not just communication, I mean fun. Ah, oh, that foot massage or you know, the shoulder massage or the genital massage. So warm sex, I think, is a good expectation. But we expect some magic to continue forever, you know. Yeah. I also am not, I'm not a fan of the cultural image of 30-year relationships. Uh, I think there, it's, I mean, if it works, but I don't think it's the norm. We know that. <laughs>